Hey guys, Clay Full Tilt Street Rods. We're going to show you how to install a one of our hub to hub systems in a 39 Ford car today. These are the basic parts that go along with it tubular upper control arms, lower control arms. These are our Ford and the Fords. Boxing plates, your choice drop stock spindles, drilled slotted rotors, regular rotors, power rack, manual rack. It's all the same price. We are going to put this in a nutshell for you. We're not going to drag it out. So there's two hours of video here for you. We are going to just show you how to do it. We're going to tack it all in and then we're going to let you guys go from there. Um, you can also get a hold of me at 970-255-8890. I'm there all the time. And if you have any questions, we make kits for about everything. We have universal kits that fit everything. So whatever you need, we got it. Give us a call and uh, let's get with this. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to install one of our cross member kits in a 39 Ford car. We've cheated a little bit. We've removed the stock cross member. We've trimmed off the core support brackets. And we've we put this piece and this piece just to keep everything straight and level. Obviously, we, we cheat a little bit because it's on our frame table so we know it's nice and straight, so on and so forth. You mark your axle center line before you take the old cross member and anything out so you know that you are absolutely centered. Most of these cars, most I say, there's a bump stop on the bottom. There's a whole bump stop right there that usually is your axle center line. You can see that this one is not lined up. Henry Ford wasn't very good at putting them in there lined up so make sure you mark your axle center line. Like I said I will show you later on in the video how I do it so that you know that you're lined up. I put everything together. I even put a fender on make sure we're centered in there. So I'll show you later on in the video we'll get to all that when we put fenders on so on and so forth. Just want to make sure mark your axle center line. This side has a boxing plate in it. This kit comes with boxing plates. I left one in and I took one out just to show you what it looks like. These go in and they're they're centered on your on your center line pretty much wherever they fit the best. You tack them in. I tack them in right from the get-go. I get everything put in tacked in before I completely weld it just to make sure. I'll show you a little bit of that later on in the video but this is what it looks like once it's tacked in. So from here on, we'll get this piece tacked in. We'll come back and we'll show you how the cross member and the upper hats go on. I'm not gonna do it. Really? Right? Mm-hmm. Okay guys, now that we have our boxing plates tacked in, you can see our axle center lines right here. What we're going to do is we're going to take a square, plumb, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to plumb a line straight down off of that. We're going to mark this a line. We're going to go to the other side, and we're going to do the same thing. Okay. Those, there's our axle center line. Now we're going to come over here to our cross member, which is about three and seven eighths inches wide. We're going to mark us a center line on that, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, inch and fifteen sixteenths, I believe. So we're going to go an inch and fifteen sixteenths, and we're going to do it on the other side. I think that's right. I think it's an inch and 15, 16. Okay, so we got that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to grab the cross member. We're going to slide it up in there. Derek's going to help us. Uh, we're going to push it up in between the frame rails. 
like such. And we're going to line our axle center lines up with one another. If you've got a little bit of space in there, it's not that big a deal. What I normally do is I just split the difference. We push it up on the bottom side of the frame where the cross member touches front and back on the bottom side. Then put a tack on it right in the center. Do it. And then we're going to make sure this one's lined up on our center. Front and back touching the bottom side of the frame. Okay. At this point you can see we're plumb across here. That's what you want to make sure. This way doesn't really matter a whole lot because you're going to have smaller wheels on the front or tires on the front than on the back so it doesn't matter too much. Make sure you're pretty plumb across there. Now we'll have Derek, we'll have Derek come in and we'll put about three more spot welds on there just to show you guys how we do it. Then we'll go to the other side and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll go to the upper control hats, where are your upper control arm bolts. These, these are about seven and an eighth inch wide. So that's going to give us about three and nine sixteenths to the center. And, what we're, and then we're going to come back to our chassis over here. We're going to come put your tape on the face of the front of the cross member. You're going to come here and measure an inch and three quarter. What this line is. This is going to be where your hat, the front face of your hat, basically what it's doing is it's centering this with this, but this is just an easier way to do it. Now we'll get Derek over here, put a couple of tacks on here. What we want to do is make sure that this is level from side to side again. Push them clear up against the frame out here, front and back. Make sure it's level. Make sure we're on our inch and three quarter mark here. And give it a zap. Another one up front. And then one down the side. All this does basically keeps everything in line. That way if you want to if you want to assemble something, it's sturdy enough to do it. We're just going to transfer it. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to be a little redundant. We're going to come up an inch and three quarter. We're going to take our other upper half. We're going to line it up. We're going to take our level. We're going to make sure we're level. We're lined up. And we're going to tag it. And another one. And another one down the side. I know this is kind of a rush thing. Uh, I don't think of it as a rush thing because I've done a thousand of these things. This is basically what you want. Um, we tack it so much so that we can put one side together. We'll show you how we put one side together. We'll even show you how we put a fender on and a wheel and a rotor and everything so that we know that everything's perfectly centered in your wheel well. So we'll cut for a couple seconds here. We'll start mocking some stuff up and we'll be back.